Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of, okay, the cards want to speak already. Alright, so it seems like somebody may have started a new beginning, okay, or I feel like somebody started something but then it, it just, now it's over, alright, or it's getting ready to be over. Okay, so I feel like it's getting ready to be over because somebody only cares about the physical part, like I, that's all I want, okay. It's the grown-up stuff. Alright, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Alright, so we have the sacrifice card here. This makes me feel like um, this is not something that you want to do. I'm going to say it as you, but it could be either way. But this is not something you want to do, alright? Okay, so it seems like this situation, I feel like somebody still cares about their uh, child's parent, okay? Yeah, but I feel like somebody still cares about the child's parent or somebody that they wanted to have children with or just somebody that they were with for a long time. Some of the part of their youth, okay? Capricorn. All right. All right, so we're just going to say this card, but I don't think I cut the card. So um, we got the receptivity card here, and it's reversed, so this makes me feel like there's an imbalance with the giving. I feel like you're giving more than you're receiving. All right. Well, we're going to put this here. We're going to cut the top because that's how it's supposed to be. What's going on? All right, Capricorn. All right, so it seems like somebody is pretty angry about a situation. All right, I feel like somebody's secret came out, and now they're mad about it. We're going to see what this secret is about in a second. All right, so it seems like somebody's letting go of the situation now because of what happened, but I feel like there's a lot of anger connected to it. All right, what is this secret about? One card for the Capricorn. Mm. Okay, so it seems like Whatever the secret was that came out, it seems like somebody doesn't feel bad for it. They like so. Okay. Let's see what's going on. One more card. What is this arrogant secret? All right. Yes. Yeah, so we got the third party card. So it seems like there is some cheating going on. And it seems like um, whoever's doing the cheating, the arrogant person, they like, so what? What you going to do about it? Okay. And of course, this is making you mad. All right. But you choosing to let go of the situation. All right, what's going on with this Capricorn? All right, so I feel like there's a lot of grown-up activity going on, but I feel like the passion is leaving, okay? Um, yeah, it's just like I feel like it's turning into to disgust or turning to disgust once you found out that this person was dealing with someone else. But then I feel like somebody questioning it their self, like, wow, you know, we was having so much fun at home, but you still going outside to have fun. I'm like, what's going on? Okay. Like somebody just wouldn't believe that this was possible. Okay. All right, Capricorn. All right. So seems like somebody is moving. Moving out, moving on, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is you just moving out and moving away. All right. All right, so we have the receptivity card here. So I feel like... I feel like this was supposed to come out. All right, but it seems like... This makes me feel like these is like you letting go of the situation to find some more more balance in your life. But let me get one more card for this receptivity card. Okay. Because this also makes me feel like that this person didn't want you to give to anybody. Okay. Like friends or family, you know. And this makes me feel like you're going out and hanging out and being with family and friends more. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So it's not family and friends you're going out and doing more with is your ex. Okay. So when you let this situation go and um, you move out or move away, I feel like you may go back to your ex, even if it's just for um, consoling. Okay. But it seems like this person is definitely going to be there for you. I feel like there is going to be some give and take here, but I do feel like this ex is connected to someone else. All right. So watch out for that. All right. So yeah, in this whole situation, sorry. In this whole situation, this seems like the love is not here. All right. There's no love. Okay. Everybody loves someone outside. Okay. Everybody. All right. So let's do the closure cards. What's going on? With the Capricorn. Oh, goodness. All that. What's going on with the Capricorn? What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So we got the strength card reverse here. Of course, this means somebody's being impatient. Okay. But I also feel like somebody is being weak. Feeling weak. All right. So we got the page of swords. So it seems like there's a lot of stalking going on. Stalking, watching where you're doing, where you at, where you're going. Alright, so it seems like somebody's trying to hold on to this situation. Okay? Wow. Okay, but what's crazy is this person's arrogant and they don't care that you know. But it seems like this person... It seems like this person feels like you're part of their property. Okay? So it seems like you're trying to leave, you know. But I feel like at this point you're still there. But I feel like this person is just trying to control you while you're there. Okay? Capricorn. All right, so we got the seven of swords here. So it seems like somebody is acting like, oh, wow. How did I mess the camera up like that? Sorry. All right, so it seems like somebody is, I heard two-faced it. So it seems like somebody's being two-faced. They, they acting like, you know, it seems like somebody might be acting like the victim. All right. All right, but we're going to see. Let's clarify some stuff. What's going on with this page of swords? One card, please, for the Capricorn. All right. Yeah, so it seems like this is crazy. Oh, now this makes sense. All right, so it seems like when you leave, you just going to leave. Okay, whoever's... um being cheated on they just gonna leave they just gonna be wake up in the middle of the night pack all their stuff and be gone possibly wait for somebody to go to work they come home you gone and all your stuff gone too all right so it seems like since that happened since somebody just up and left this arrogant person is following them like watching them what's going on what you doing where you at you know and of course since this third party situation you don't want no parts of them all right, but it seems like this arrogant person is trying to keep everything alive, okay? The situation is over. Somebody has already moved out. And it seems like the, whew, I wanted to call it a bad name, but the arrogant person, it started with A, though. Um, the arrogant person is uh, trying to act like somebody they're not. They're trying to act like they're this nice person. They're working on their self. You know, they're going to do the best for you and them. So, no, that's a lie. Okay, that's try to try to keep you in there. All right? Keep you in there. But this is only after you leave. As long as you're there, this person doesn't care. Okay? Uh, they're like, oh, well, I just got away with it. You ain't going to do nothing about it. But then when you do something about it, that's when this person is going to be like, oh, my God, what did I do? Okay? Because at this point, before you leave, 
they just like, oh, well, let's see what else I can get away with. But before that happens, somebody taking off. All right, what is this death card? Reverse one card, please, for the Capricorn. All right, Queen of Swords. Okay, so it seems like, okay. So it seems like the one that ran away, got away, they got their revenge. Because it seems like someone's hurt the the. I keep wanting to call it another name. The arrogant person is hurt. Okay. Um, but that was the revenge. But this arrogant person also wants revenge too. So this sucks. But as soon as you co go back to this person, they're going to end the situation. Okay. So it seems like they're going to bring you back just to dump you. All right. So if you ran already, do not go back. Okay, this person acting like they change, but it seems like they just want the last laugh. All right, all right, one card for the seven of swords. All right, nine of cups. Yes, you want to believe this person has changed. Okay, after you ran away and did all this other stuff, they haven't. They haven't. They just want to play. What I already heard you guys, narcissistic, definitely, definitely here. Somebody just wants to be the last one laughing. All right. High Priestess, secrets coming out, okay? Um, this makes me feel like if you let this person know that you're never coming back and you don't want anything to do with them, they're going to tell you everything you need to hear about everything that you ever suspected, okay? But you got to let them know you're serious about not coming back. And, oh, well, you probably don't want to talk to them. they just going to try to say everything to hurt your feelings. But it will seal the deal and help you move on, all right? But that's all I have for you guys, and thanks for watching.